Let's see. Oh, that's right. We're going after a Baird and Heller. Oh, we have a bounty here. Hmm. It'll probably be okay. Seems fine. Uh oh. Hello? Friendly? Seems okay. Crashed ship. Touchdown imminent. I'm just getting ready to settle back down. It's good to be on the boat. Well, lives get stuffy sometimes. Can't believe Barrett snuck a transmission to us. He always finds a way. Damn him. Hey, it's Life with Officers. Welcome. Hello there. Do you mind? Thank you. I have things I wish to discuss with you. When you have time. Can we just discuss things? Like, twice? Oh yeah, and uh, thank you for the follow the other day, Life Little Officers. We have not yet had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. Te temple? I am not sure what to call it. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? It was beautiful. I've never imagined such a place. And it seems fitting that you were the one to discover it. Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but... How can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? <laughs> I'm putting my credits on magic pixies now. I don't... I think she appreciates our sense of humor. Maybe there are people out there we've just never met. I suppose it is possible, but I cannot imagine anyone who could build such a thing. I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you alright? Have you felt any side effects? You think there'll be side effects? How can any of us know what will happen? This is the definition of unprecedented, is it not? No, I feel great. Better than ever. A cynical person might suggest that in itself could be a side effect. But for now, we will just assume you have been very fortunate. The artifacts that temple this new ability you have acquired, clearly they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. I just noticed that her spacesuit has her name on it. That's cool. Oh, she's got a patch with a little trash panda. She got her trash panda merit badge and her her uh, her uh, CQC merit badge. 
any other patches? This is exactly what Constellation is for, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. You are right. Now we have even greater reason to press forward. To learn more about what is at work here. Oops. Nice low grav minute. So I think that crashed ship is what we're looking for here. Not sure there's much else to be found here. Well, there is a structure. A couple of structures, it looks like. Not a live one. Hello? Oh, hey, it's you. In here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? I'm a hallucination, Heller. Your last thoughts are apparently of me. No, I'm not gonna say that. Hold still, let me patch you up. trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. Barrett was all, sorry brother, I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these hurly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. I blacked out. And when I came to... There he was, smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. He's so salty. I love it. He really survived the crash without a scratch? Well, no, I don't think <laughs> um, so. I caught him holding his ribs a few times. <laughs> Favorite his left leg a bit, you know? But Baird isn't here. I need to find him. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, you don't say. I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. 
And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. It took him? Why? I was drifting in and out. But, uh, I think I heard the word ransom. That was a long way of saying Pirates of Barrett. Yeah, you know, you're really the one who should be upset about <laughs> all this. Me, laying here, half conscious, real inconvenience. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Oh, um, we don't actually have any crew space left on our ship. This is awkward. Um, should we get you back to Argos? <laughs> I think Argos is probably going to write this whole thing off. Plus, I'm 90% sure working for you would be safer. I hope. Let's get you on your feet first. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is, yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Not the first time I played this, I think I also didn't have room for him and I completely forgot to come back for him, so I think he is still just sitting at the crash site. <laughs> Some say you can find him at the crash site to this day. Kraken wise. Uh, let's see if we can try to recruit him. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. You have any skills that might come in handy on my crew? You bet. I've worked on enough remote outposts that I know a thing or two about optimizing them for material production. And if you're in the market for a mining buddy, I'm your guy. You sure you're in good enough shape to travel? Uh, don't worry about me. I'm a tough cookie. The painkillers are starting to work. I'll be just fine after a good nap. Yeah, let's get going. Whew. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were going to leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Oof, yep. <laughs> There's no space. Hey, if you ever tell him when you'll come back for him. What if we unassign Sam? Does he just disappear? You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Wait, what? Oh, I guess we did recruit him? Dying for something to do, boss. Mind if you the mind if I ask kind of a personal question? Sure. What's on your mind? I'd like to know more about your life outside of Argos. Working on my biography, huh? Where are you from, anyway? You heard of New Homestead and the Soul System? Nah, most people haven't. It's out in the sticks, on one of Saturn's moons. That's where I grew up. Not exactly the most exciting place to be a kid. It's got a lot of ice, a lot of wind, and not much of anything else. I wasn't exactly torn up about leaving to work for Argos. My family weren't still working the wind farms there. I don't think I'd ever go back. Ooh, 
Will you tell me more about growing up there? Boss, I spend most of my time collecting rocks. For fun. That should tell you everything you need to know about the bustling metropolis that is New Homestead. The place makes Sidonia look like the big city. I had more fun freezing my ass off looking for meteorites than most New Homesteaders do in their entire lives. Oh my gosh. Are there wind farms on Titan? Oh yeah, big time. New Homestead was one of the first places people settled after we left Earth. Back then, wind power was all the rage. Some of the equipment at the farm's been around since the first generation of settlers made it to Titan. And it shows, let me tell you. Lots of people in New Homestead work there, including my mom. It's not the greatest job, but it sure beats the ice mines. How often do you visit your family? Not enough, according to my mom. <laughs> but I try to get back every couple months, and I keep in touch when I'm not there. I can see why you feel that way. Yeah, I never saw myself living in New Homestead forever. To tell you the truth, I hope my family splits too. My mom's always talked about retiring to Jemison. Of course, that'd be a whole lot easier if she didn't have so many kids to look after. New Atlantis isn't exactly cheap. Hopefully she'll be able to move someday though. I worry about her. Wind farming's a pretty dangerous job. Maybe someday, when my brothers are older. How'd you end up working at Argos? Lynn convinced me. She and some Argos miners stopped by my hometown on Titan to refuel, and I happened to be on shift at the spaceport that day. I noticed some rare minerals in her cargo hold and started chatting with her about them. And she was impressed by how much I knew about geology and offered me the gig. It wasn't a hard sell. Lynn seemed like a decent boss, and the salary was great. Besides, my rock collection had gotten as big as it was gonna get on Titan. Are you and Lynn very close? Yeah, we are. She's been my boss for a long time. I think of her as a friend. Don't tell her I said this, but she's not as much of a hard ass as she'd like you to think. Noted. And despite what she says, I know she has a soft spot for me. You have a rock collection? Hell yeah, I do. I've been working on it for years. I used to collect mineral samples from meteorites that hit Titan or buy them off pilots at the spaceport. Lynn even contributed to it. She offered me a good sized chunk of tantalum for my collection as a signing bonus. Oh, that's cute. Do you ever dig up anything stranger than the artifact I found? No way. Whatever you found down there had some seriously weird energy coming off of it. Honestly, I hope I never see something like that again in my life. You might be joining the wrong ship, bud. How long have you worked at Argos? Eight years, give or take a couple months. It's been a great job. It pays decent, and my rock collections never looked better. I hope you don't regret leaving too much. I don't. Really. After what happened on Vectera, I seriously needed a break from Argos. And you're not shy about cracking rocks either, so I still get my fix. Will you tell me more about your family? Well, my dad's not in the picture, but I have the best mom in the settled systems. More brothers than you can shake a stick at, too. Raising us gave mom a real run for her money. It's a miracle she didn't leave us to freeze at one of the ice mines on Titan. We got in all kinds of trouble as kids. I can see you being the kind of kid to cause trouble. Yeah, you can say that again. My brothers and I are always up to something. It's a good thing I grew up in a town where our definition of getting into trouble was screwing around with old mining equipment. We would have raised all sorts of hell in a big city like New Atlantis. I'd like to ask you something else. Knock yourself out, boss. Will you tell me about your rock collection? Already taken care of, boss. I donated it to one of the tour companies in New Homestead. Geological formations are one of Titan's big tourist attractions. It hurt my heart a little to give it up, but the woman I donated them to promised they'd give me credit for collecting all the samples, assuming she ever puts them on display. That whether she does or not, I'm glad to know all my hard work won't be gathering dust in a storage unit somewhere. Oh. I don't have any more questions right now. right -o, boss. I was starting to think you forgot about me. Alright, you're hired. Let's get you assigned somewhere. You made the right call there, boss.
There we go. Assigned him to the Razor Leaf. Oh. So it looks like Sam's still on the Razor Leaf. He's just not assigned to it. So I think he'll be on it as a passenger until you land back on uh, New Atlantis or something. Where's my scanner picking up there? Ah, oh, just empty drink packs. It's... Whoop. Oh, okay. That was interesting how the tray was wedged under the lid there like that. A couple of empty drink packs underneath. Yeah, we're not gonna leave Sam behind. I just want to get this guy off this rock because so I completely forgot about him in my my first partial playthrough. He's just walking back, buddy. You know there's fast travel, right? <laughs> Me too. A little cramped. We could add some modules to it, but I would feel weird modifying this ship too much. Is there a way to go faster than the speed of light? And none of that grab tech cheating? I don't think so. Hey, it's always a good day when you come around. Nice to see you. Lynn, what did I tell you about staying away from my cowboy? Right, let's get off this rock. Now we're coming up on the stream time already. Oh shoot. I meant to take off, not get up. <laughs> up and down, up and He's down. On the schedule today? Oh my god, she's she's got a real one track mind. About to set her up on an outpost. Far away from Sam. Try hailing them in case they decide to collect on the bounty that we have in our head. Oh, we need to listen to the transmission. I think we listened to the first one, so we need to listen to the second one now. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot. Could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move! He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Tie him up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. It's such a shit stir. Let's 
Looks like we're making a vessel run. Hmm. Flash bang out. Hunter, Hunter. Listen, we can settle this peacefully. Oh, I'm not paying them. Let's take out their engines. Let's see if I can capture one of their ships. There's their engines done. Ooh. Taking a lot of damage. There's the other one. Oh shit, we died. We should pull up one of them. I'll try to board the other one. We're docking. I guess they're just gonna stop shooting us while we're docked with their friends. <laughs> guess so. Okay. I so we can't also repair our ship while we're docked, though. Ooh, everyone's ready to go. Hey, how's it going? It's my weapon. Look, actually, shotgun probably better for. Sometimes I just want to turn off the grab drive so we can float around. Clara, this is not the time. Hello. Hello. Uh, oh, it's not the docker. Wait, it's the docker, not the whatever the. Regular entrances. Watch for corners or hiding spots. 
They know this ship better than we do. Hello? I just want to talk. Third one. Oh, there you are. Ray engineering outfit. Ew. Actually, it's not too bad. <clears throat> kind of reminds me of the crew uniform from Mass Effect 2. Mm -hmm. Don't really want that. Remove environmental damage in ships, outposts, and places you can relax and breathe safely. Is it telling me to do that? I don't understand. Hmm, nuclear fuel rod. What is that? Oh, uh, I'm not a doctor, so this feels a little weird. Hmm, contraband. I have to find somewhere we can offload contraband before we take it into a settled system. Oh, you can down here. Just a storage room, I guess. It's kind of a weird layout. I'm going to sit in the pilot seat that will have it uh, added to our collection of ships. There we go. I don't really want to make it my home ship right now though. Yeah, let's go ahead and board our actual ship. It is good to be back in our own ship. Indeed. Brief history of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend like forever. A brief history of time. Making a mental note. Keep an eye out for a. I already forgot what it was called. A brief history of time. Pretty sure that's what she said. All right, everyone can. Can you not point that at me? Man, the galaxy's too big to be stuck in the same place. Look at Sam. How are you? Look at the cowboy. Everything's fine. All right. Glad to see you're back in one piece. For now, not much longer. Keep waving that. Yeah, the way you point handle that things. At the cowboy, get I'm out of here. Go. Hey, what's going on? All right. So I think when we undock here, I'm gonna put us right back into combat. Although if their if their engines are still down, we should be able to board the the other one right away. So let's find out. Little quick save beforehand and 
yeah, thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna be wrapping up the stream here in a second as well. To get out of this combat. Can we still dock with this? Oh shoot, I think their engines came back. But their hull integrity is pretty much gone. Oh yeah, their engines are very much back. So in the future I know... that uh, looks on one at a time. Yeah, thanks again for the raid and thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Just looking for the cargo that they dropped. They even dropped anything. Oh, there it is. Ugh, oh, cargo hold is full. Yeah, we gotta add more cargo storage to this ship. Right, anything... Oh, that's a mineral deposit. Can't pick it up. Alright, 